Hi, we are very excited for you to try out Pito's AI code review agent. Let's look at how to quickly set it up for GitLab as a webhook. First, log in into your Bitto.ai account. So for that, go to Bitto.ai, then click on sign in. Enter your email address and click continue. And you know, after the six digit code, which I've already done, select the workspace uh, on which you basically have the 10x developer plan. Once you log in, on the left hand side, you'll see a lot of options out there. You can see explore agents, configure agents and so on. Let's click on explore agents. The explore agents page shows you the list of agents available. Here we have code review agent. To use it, you need to create a new instance. Let's click on create new instance. And out here, I want to use GitLab. So let me select GitLab. And then it tells you the requirement. What I need is a GitLab access token, right? So let me quickly go to my GitLab and to create an access token, let me click on preferences. Once I click on preferences, I have access to access tokens. And to create an access token, I just say add a new token. Here, let me give it a name to code review agent. And, you know, let me set an expiration date, which is for say three months. The only scope that I need is API. That's it. And then I can click on create personal access token. Now it generates your personal access token. Make sure to copy it. And then let's go back to the bitto.ai page wherein we are configuring agents. Out here where it says enter GitLab access token, paste your access token. Then for this particular instance, I need to give a name. I'm using it for my POC project. So POC code review agent, you know, little CRA webhook for POC project. Once I'm done here, I click on save and view setup instructions. It gives me setup instructions for GitLab webhook. So login into GitLab, I have GitLab, I've already done that. Choose your repository and then webhook settings, okay. Let me first go here uh, to the home page. Let me select my project you see here. Let me go to settings and webhooks. Once I'm here, I'll click on add new webhook. So first I need the URL. Let me go here, webhook URL, copy, paste name Victor CIA secret token okay secure your webhook this is the secret token let me copy it and go here in the webhook settings let me paste it in secret tokens. And which events do I need? I need comments and merge request events. So let me go and click on comments and merge request events. That's it. Enable SSL verification. Yes. Add the webhook. There you go. Now, Bitto Code Review Agent is set up as a webhook in GitLab. Now, how do we check whether it is working or not? You can obviously click on test out here. Let me test with merge request events. It says hook tested successfully. It should be 200. That means the setup is all proper. Now actually, let's get it to work. Let me go to POC project. Let me go to some of the merge requests. Let me pick this one. And let's try to do a review. Now anytime you make a pull request or a merge request, uh, in case of GitLab, uh, it's merge request, it will automatically run the bit of code review agent and give you the merge request feedback. Now, let me actually run the merge request feedback manually. That means on demand. And to do that, I can go and add a comment to that PR or merge request by saying slash review. That's it. And then add the comment. The moment I do that, it will call the webhook on demand, which is the Bitto's code review agent and Bitto code review agent will basically go through the code changes for this particular merge request and then generate a feedback. 
Now, obviously I have used my token to set it up. So it will show up as feedback from me uh, on this particular merge request. Let's give it some time to run. Let's reload the page. Yes, there you go. You see the, you know, merge request analysis out here, SPR analysis, you know, the main theme summary, the feedback, and then you'll see individual file and line level feedback. Cool. That's it. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.